Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are debating two JavaScript frameworks, Svelte vs React. And joining me is Archie, my sassy sidekick with the strong opinions about Svelte. Svelte is obviously a top dog here. Haha, <laughs> right, we will see about that. I'm a bit more traditional and will be in the corner for React. We will not just talk about it, but also show you some code examples. Let's dive in and may the best framework win! React.js is a JavaScript library for building single-page applications. It was developed by Facebook and maintained by a big community. React shaped the way how most front-end developers think about web development. Why is it so popular among developers? Great question, Archie. React made reusable components popular. We can encapsulate and compose parts to build complex interfaces. It's like building with Lego blocks. Each piece can be used over and over in other projects. Plus, React uses JSX, a syntax extension that allows us to write HTML-like code inside JavaScript. Doesn't that get messy? It seems at first, but JSX actually helps visualize your components as you code. Also, you can use the same component written 10 years ago in the modern application without no issues. It saves tons of time on refactoring. But React does have a steep learning curve due to its complex API and the virtual DOM. That sounds frustrating! It does, doesn't it? The virtual DOM is an in-memory representation of the actual DOM. React uses it to compute the changes needed to update in the browser DOM. Originally, it was groundbreaking as it minimized expensive DOM manipulations. But as web applications became more complex, the virtual DOM introduced its overhead and we had to start using tools like useMemo and useCallback to optimize performance. In the end, React trends lies in the rich ecosystem and community support. I can find a React component or even six for any purpose I need. This network is a huge advantage when implementing a highly custom application. So React is good for a big site! Mm, yep! I recommend React for large-scale applications with a lot of moving parts. If your app has many pages or complex computations, React can handle it. Now let's shift gears and talk about Svelte, a newer kid on the block in the JavaScript framework scene. Unlike React, Svelte shifts much of runtime work to compile time. And doesn't need any virtual DOM! You are right, Archie! What sets Svelte apart is its compiler. It analyzes your components and creates JavaScript that talks directly to the DOM. During the build process, Swell's compiler strips away unnecessary code. When your application runs, no extra weight slows it down, lean and efficient. And here is the kicker. Swell compiles your code into plain vanilla JavaScript before your page even starts to render. This reduces the bundle size and makes your app loads faster. At the heart of Svelte framework is reactive design pattern. Reactivity? Like reacting to a squirrel? Kind of archy, but instead of squirrels, we react to changes in data. Many developers love this pattern and think it is a game changer. Svelte was designed to be simple. Its syntax clean, especially for newcomers. You need much less boilerplate, meaning less code to write and manage. Less work from all play, I get it. Exactly, Archie. Some even say that Svelte is about writing the code you need and nothing you don't. I recommend Svelte for building everything from simple proofs of concepts to fully functional MVPs. It is perfect for validating product ideas without bogging down by the framework itself. React is downloaded on average 20 times more than Svelte. However, Svelte shows promising growth. Regarding job opportunities, React developers are in high demand. More competition leads to higher salaries for experienced developers. According to Stack Overflow Research, React is the first among JavaScript libraries, while Svelte is fifth behind the jQuery, Angular and Vue. Now let's look into syntax differences between Svelte and React. State – Svelte versus React In React, we need the useState hook to manage the state variables. Here I have a name state and an input element that controls it. The problem here is that React will run this code every time it re-renders the component. This is fine for simple components, but leads to performance issues with complex computations. To optimize, we wrap our input in useMemo hook to re-render it only when the name actually changes, not every time the component updates. Now let's look how Svelte handles a similar scenario. That's it! 
no hooks, no memoization. In Svelte, the binding is direct and reactive. When the name changes, the input updates automatically. And when the input value changes, the name updates too. It all happens under the Svelte's hood. Passing props Svelte vs React. In React we pass props to child components as function arguments, and the child component gets it using the props object. Here I use JavaScript destructuring to extract the name directly from props. Svelte uses a slightly different approach with the export keyword to declare props directly in the script tag of a component. In the parent component we pass props as usual. In Svelte, you can pass props just by using its name, when the variable and the prop share the same name. It's a neat piece of synthetic sugar. Conditional logic Svelte vs React In React, we use the ternary operator within JSX to render elements conditionally. Svelte uses if-else-if statements very similar to traditional JavaScript. Lifecycle Svelte vs React in React, we use the useEffect hook for lifecycle related operations and to perform actions when the component mounts, updates, or unmounts. Here, the useEffect will run the alert function on component mount and unmount. Svelte also provides onMount and onDestroy methods for the same purposes but with a more straightforward syntax. Array iteration Svelte vs React. In React, the map method iterates over arrays to render elements or components dynamically. It is powerful and allows you to assign callbacks to each item. Remember to pass the key prop to help React identify which item have changed. Swell provides the each block designed for iterating over arrays. Put this block into templates as a part of reactive framework structure. Alright, let's summarize the key points of Svelte vs React comparison. Svelte shines with its simplicity, performance and development speed. However, its ecosystem is still growing and you may face some limitations or fewer resources. On the flip side, React has a mature ecosystem, a large community and a robust job market. Although it has a steeper learning curve, it is an excellent choice for large-scale applications with this complex UI. So, there is no best one! You're right, Archie. Both frameworks bring unique strengths and potential challenges. Consider your project's specific needs and expertise. Drop your comments or share experience in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding! Like and subscribe!